Hi, in this particular video of React, we will discuss about the higher order components. Popularly, we call it HOCs. Now, when I talk about the higher order component, that simply means that they are going to give some additional functionality to your existing components. For example, if we have different components which are giving us different kind of data and maybe it is taking some time to load that particular data. So at that particular time, what this higher order component can do is it may show a loading image. For example, by default, when the components are showing the data, they are not showing any loading image. All right. They will just show the data. But if there is some time taken, then we can add a component like a higher order component which can be applied to all the different components for this purpose. So whenever you try to create the HOC, you try to make it reusable so that the same HOC can be applied over different components. So let's see a practical implementation where we will create a HOC and we'll apply it on a normal component. So let's start the practical implementation now. So as here you can see, I have a component here called app component inside which I have created a state which has the five records and when I am putting them on the body, I am just showing them as a table. I have already worked with this particular example in our previous video where I created one EMP component as this inside which you see like how I am planning to put the things like in inside the table row there are three TDs, all right, there's a button, children, that is the name of this employee, salary, and then a delete button. Now, if I will come here in the app.js here, you can see there is a collection called EMPS, which is being rendered, all right. Now, we'll start working beyond that. So basically what I want, if I will just come to the browser, and here you can see, there are some records all right but maybe if it's a big record i want that there should be some loading image should be there or something revolving so that if it's time consuming process we should get something like that okay so for doing that what i'm doing here is i have added one more js file that is called the loader or js and basically this is nothing but the higher order component so I have just added one more folder here called HOC inside which I have placed this one. All right. Now inside this, what I'm doing here is I've taken a couple of things like react and component. All right. And loader.css loader.css is creating that loader image. All right. Which will be revolving. So basically these are the three different things which we have here. And we will be using these things in this JS file in order to create that loading image. Inside this const, you can see I have something called a prop name. Prop name, that means the name of the property. All right. So, for example, for now, you would be having a property called EMPS. So, when I will pass the value, it will be like EMPS. All right. But I will be taking that up. If I have something in this property EMPS then it will come inside and will check meanwhile if it is zero means if the length is zero it will show it will be showing the loader all right and as soon as it will get the data it will return the wrapped component that is this dot props props is the EMPS means it will show all the records out there so this is about the loader.js and at the end you can see I have exported this loader HOC all right so now here what I'll do is I will first include the loader HOC all right so here it is loader HOC higher order component which is being browsed and I will not just return this app rather I will return it along with the loader HOC all right and there I will pass a couple of things like first is the name of the property as here you can see while I'm doing this it's loader HOC first is the property name so in the first what I'll do I will say it's EMPS so as soon as I'll pass that it will come here and will set the EMPS length and it will show the same property all right let's save the changes and come here in the browser 
So this is how you can see now after that loading effect, I can see these outputs. So basically it was a basic and very simple component, but using the higher order component, I just tried to give an additional feature to the same component. So this is how you can plan how to create your own higher order components. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.